Uh, I want to open the floor on, on this as a partially contributor moderator. I don't know if one of my colleagues on the panel has question to uh, uh, how, uh, if technology uh, care about your health, the way it has been presented. Uh, otherwise, I will, uh, I will then move to the closing of this session. Are there questions or comments? No. If not, uh, then I will conclude. Uh, first, I would thank all the participants uh, for their contribution. I think uh, personally, uh, I learned a lot, even if I read it before. Uh, it was uh, extremely dense, well prepared. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I think this uh, second session was extraordinarily uh, rich. And uh, I uh, fully share uh, what uh, Patrick just said, that is, uh, as, as mathematicians say, uh, a, a problem which is well posed is half resolved. And uh, I think that uh, with this panel and the previous one, uh, we have uh, put uh, clearly a number of quite big uh, problems. And I think there is a future for the WPC health for many years to come. Uh, the, the, the only problem being that um, if we are too slow to move on, uh, we will be in trouble. So one of the characteristics of the, whatever you call it, the fourth industrial revolution, or, or if you define it with another name, is that uh, the technological evolution goes much faster than diplomacy. Uh, I, I remember the time of my own beginnings in international uh, affairs in the in the 70s at the time the start uh, the salt uh, uh, salt negotiations between the us and the soviet union uh, we 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 had observed uh, that uh, technological uh, progress was moving much fa much faster than the capacity of diplomat to to come to an agreement and uh, i i think that the sort of uh, problems we are facing in the in contemporary uh, uh, global world, in a contemporary global world, is a, a, a bit of, of, of this nature. And that affects all aspects, all the aspects that we have discussed in this second session, including including ethics. Because I think, as I think Daniel uh, uh, said quite clearly, uh, uh, one thing is uh, the uh, abstract philosophical uh, definition of uh, the good, and the other is how to translate that in uh, concrete uh, actions, and it's uh, it's a, it's very difficult. And we come back also to this uh, uh, issue uh, with which we started on the, what is a, a public good or global public good. This is also of the same nature. It is relatively easy to define abstractly, uh, but uh, when uh, you uh, want to translate that into collective action it becomes much more difficult. Anyway, I think it is uh, time, again, thank you very much, very much, it was very, I'm very happy with uh, this uh, second uh, session as I was with the first one.